Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to connect to your VPS using VS Code so that you can code and use the terminal in one application. First, we need to install the extension. So, go to the extensions marketplace and search remote SSH. Click the first extension that you see and install it. After installing the extension, we now need to get the IP address of our VPS. To do that, we need to go to our VPS panel, open the VPS, and copy the IP address under VPS information. Now, we go back to VS Code. We click on the Remote Explorer found on the left side of your screen. Click on the plus icon. And here in the ssh connection command, we type ssh root at, then paste in our VPS IP address. After that, click enter. Now, it will ask you to select an ssh configuration file. By default, just click enter. After adding our ssh connection command, you should see your VPS IP address under ssh targets. To connect to it, you just right-click on it and click Connect to Host in Current Window. Now, it will ask you to type in your root password which you use when ordering a VPS. So just type it in or paste in your root password. And enter. After entering your root password, go to the Explorer and click Open Folder. Now, it will ask you to choose which folder do you want to open. Or by default, just click enter. Now, we enter the root password again. And here we are. We are now connected to our VPS using Visual Studio Code. Now, in case you want to reconnect into your VPS, all you have to do is go back to the Remote Explorer. Then, right-click on the VPS or the recent folder that you've opened on the VPS, right-click on it, and click Open in Current Window. And once again, it will ask you to enter in your root password to the VPS. So, I'll just paste in the password, click on Enter, And here we are, we are now back to our VPS. Now, if you want to run your VPS terminal here in VS Code, click on Terminal in the top area, click on New Terminal, and now you can run your VPS commands in your terminal. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful, and I'll see you in the next one.